Hello everyone. Um, so this is a video that hopefully will uh, try to help you to fix your problems with your Wacom uh, tablets that has recently appeared after the latest Windows update, especially uh, false creators update. Uh, I have experienced a certain number of bugs and issues after I updated my Windows. Uh, so basically what I had, um, I fixed it now, but I'm going to describe you what I had. After starting the new document and trying to draw, uh, first you would like to draw normally, fine, you would have your pressure sensitivity, I could do my vertical lines, I could do my horizontal lines. But then as soon as I would zoom in, as soon as I would zoom in, I could still draw horizontal lines. But when I would try to do, draw a vertical line or a circle or anything but horizontal line, it wouldn't work. It would, it would pan scroll like this. Now I'm holding the button, but that's what would happen. It would pan scroll whenever I would try to draw, which is was really weird. Like it was impossible to draw because uh, it would be like doing this all the time, uh, a little bit more uh, glitchy and buggy. The only way I was able to draw then, I found by like just testing and testing different behaviors, um, the only way it was possible to draw was by holding right button click on a pen and doing that. That was the only way it could... Even see if I'm now holding pen scroll, I can still do that. Well, kind of. So I was going completely crazy because I thought, okay, maybe something wrong with Wacom drivers. I was running the latest Wacom drivers. I have to reinstall all windows, it didn't help. Uh, so after a sleepless night and half of a day of pulling my hair out and not knowing what to do, I think I found how to fix it. Basically, the issue is caused by Windows Inc. And in uh, a certain Reddit post, after searching everywhere guys literally i went on microsoft forums i went on wacom forums there was like a lot of people complaining and most of them were suggesting oh just you know uh, back up to the earlier version of windows unfortunately i couldn't back up to the earlier version of windows because uh, i have a relatively new laptop like a month old laptop and uh, it already pretty much came with the latest version of Windows, so I couldn't revert to an earlier version, and whatever I was trying to do was not working for me. Anyway, um, so the way to fix it, the issue is caused by Windows Inc., like I mentioned. So there are some people on the internet saying, oh, yeah, just go to your Wacom tablet preferences, uh, go to your pen options and like play with the settings or if you go to the pen and you know Disable Windows Inc. It's like it's gonna solve it. Unfortunately in my case. I'm using a Wacom uh, Cintiq 13 HD Disabling Windows Inc. means no pressure sensitivity. So It's again totally useless then there are other people that saying, okay, if you go to your, uh, what's it like? Uh, if you go to your control panel and you go to like hardware and you know, pen and touch and all this, all this bullshit. Like if you go to like play with these settings, then it's gonna do something. Um, it didn't. Again, like nothing. Nothing happened. So, enabling, disabling, all these things didn't work for me at all. So, the way that I fixed it, uh, or the way that I found, uh, you know, a workaround this incredibly annoying issue. Um, so, I'll leave. I'll leave the full description, full stuff in, 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 uh, in the video description, but basically here's how I done it. So, there is a Reddit post, as I mentioned, where a Windows Inc. developer, because the 
issues caused by Windows Inc. Um, I can leave the link to the to the uh, post. But basically, what he's saying is that some applications after the creators update uh, are not behaving in the way that they are supposed to behave. And the way to edit it without reinstalling Windows, which I fucking did and it erased all of my data, so now I have to reinstall all the applications again, which is great. But you just basically need to go to command prompt. So like a terminal thing. And then you just copy this part, which again, I will leave in the description. You copy that, paste it in here, press enter. And what that will do is that uh, this command will basically overwrite the Windows uh, Creators Updates um, pen behaviors to the older versions of uh, Windows Pen, Windows Inc. Which means you're probably going to lose the whatever new fancy Creators Update pen, which I don't know what they offer. Uh, to me, I want to work on my Cintiq, I want to work on Photoshop, I want to work on my art. Uh, and yeah, it's going to give you your pen back at least it did to me so i hope it helps uh please leave a comment subscribe and uh, let me know if that worked for you um yeah thank you